this is the Provoke Brawn, and this is a video to compare two microphones which are similar in price but vastly different in design and features. The Rockat Torch that you can see here and the Joby Wavopod. Joby makes Gorilla Pods but also a number of microphones for both cameras and standalone microphones designed to work for streamers and content creators and podcasters. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the differences between these two. Now, I have unboxed and reviewed them both separately and covered a lot more depth on various different things about them. But here I want to talk to you about the differences between them. And I'm using one of the microphones now to capture the audio for this video, the voiceover. So let me know in the comments which one you think it is. But later on, I will also show you a comparison between the two so you can hear the difference. You can see they are quite different looking microphones. The Joby stands out from having its very red pop filter and the Rockat Torch stands out for being quite unusual, sitting low to the desk and also having this little stand, which not only doubles as the stand for the microphone, but also a little control deck that gives you volume control, the ability to switch between various modes, gain controls, and also it has RGB lighting on it and other things. You'll note that you can use it in this mode or on a boom arm, and that's the same with both mics. They can both be used on a boom arm separately, and that makes them fairly interesting. The torch is unusual because if you put the microphone on a boom arm, it still also needs to be attached to this little base station which then connects to your PC. And that does various different things, but it's there and it's required. Another thing that's interesting about this one is the mute button on top is actually a wave to mute, so it's not a push button, but instead you just wave your hand over the top. I'll show you that later on. Now, as you'll see, both microphones are fairly plastic in the majority of their design, which can feel a little bit flimsy in places. However, they're both decent quality for the amount of money that you're paying. The Joby Wavo Pod comes with a nice solid stand and obviously has that pop filter advantage on the top, but it doesn't have a shock mount, which is a little bit problematic, and I'll talk about that later on. It does, however, have a nice setup in various different ways. For example, you'll notice the Joby Link markings on the side and the threaded holes there. Now, the reason for that is that you can use Joby's various different attachments to basically connect up extra things to your microphone, which means that you can potentially add, for example, a little smartphone holder so you can put your phone on one side of the microphone. So if you're streaming and you want to be able to talk directly to your chat, you can obviously keep an eye on the chat and engage with them at the same time, which is a pretty interesting idea and could be useful, especially for streamers, but you could also use it as a podcaster. Perhaps you want your notes directly next to the microphone. The thing about this mic is it also has that pop filter, which is removable, and you can put an extra one on there in theory. And because it has two modes, both cardioid and omnidirectional, that means that you can have someone sitting on the other side of you, so you can have people talking into both sides of the microphone, which is obviously ideal for podcasting. It's worth noting that the Rockat Torch doesn't have this because it has different patterns, but it doesn't have one for that sort of talking on either side. I'll leave all the specs of both microphones in the description so you can find out more about it. But the Torch has cardioid, stereo and whisper technology. Now, the Joby has a couple of cables included in the box, USB-C to USB-A and USB-C to USB-C. And I'll talk about the torch in a second, but you'll see that you can also detach the base and then you can do something crazy like putting a gorilla pod on the bottom of it. So it will work with that. It does have the threading for that. And as I said, obviously, you also have the ability to mount various different things from Joby onto the sides or rear of the microphone as well. So you have options in how you set this microphone up and it's a bit more flexible in terms of sort of mounting things to it, which may or may not be useful depending on what you're planning on doing or what you like to do when you're creating content. I personally wouldn't use it, but if you're, like I said, if you're a podcaster who wants access to notes really easily, it could be useful. Or perhaps it gives you different mounting options. Obviously, putting a gorilla pod on it gives you potential to attach it to things. So if you don't have a boom arm, you could potentially attach it to something else, make it hang off something, connect it up to part of your desk, for example, or some other 
part nearby. So there are various different options about it that make it interesting. Now the microphone itself, I felt is a bit sort of flimsy and plastic in the body, the majority of it. And that's a shame because the bass is quite hefty and solid feeling. However, it sort of let down there a bit by the overall feel in the hand. However, the capture quality is superb, and you'll hear that later on and the difference between them. Now, the Rocket Torch has multiple different cables because you need to connect the base station bit up to the microphone itself. So you have a short one, a standard that you can just plug into the bottom and then connect up to the back of the microphone. And then you have a longer cable which then plugs into your PC. You also have a, another long cable that you can use so when you detach the microphone and put it on a boom arm, you can then run the cable from the mic to the little control box thing and then connect it up to your PC that way. You'll notice that there are various different buttons on here as well for changing the lighting. So this one has an RGB effect on it, which I'll show you later on, which obviously will be interesting for streamers, but it's useful in other ways. So it'll show you the gain level and also when you're muted. On the Joby Wavo pod, there's a button for adjusting between the two patterns, cardioid and omnidirectional. Cardioid is basically talking directly into the mic, and omnidirectional is from all around the microphone. And then you have the mute button in the middle. You can press and hold the mute button, and that allows you to switch between adjusting the gain level and adjusting the volume that you're hearing through the 3.5mm jack. So this microphone has a jack on the bottom for plugging in your headset, plug a 3.5mm connection into there. You can then hear audio both from Windows, for example, so you can listen to normal sound through there, and mic monitor as well. Sadly, the Rockat Torch, although it has a 3.5mm connection, I couldn't find a way to mic monitor, so you can't hear yourself through the monitor on there, which is a bit strange, a bit of an odd one. However, it is easily mountable on a boom arm. You can see, obviously, you take that top bit off, and then you can just attach it. Here I'm using Elgato's Wave mic arm, and there's a simple adapter that you can use to put on there that's included with the mic arm, and then you can just screw the torch into it. Obviously it'll work on a number of different boom arms, this is just one option. I tried it on a couple of different ones, and I'll show you it connected to another one in a second, but what you'll see is nice and stable setup, and it's quite a weird design. It's quite an unusual microphone. It stands out from the crowd, I think, even when it's not plugged in. When it is plugged in, you'll notice the difference in terms of the RGB effects and the sort of impact that that has, which is quite cool. And I like it for a number of different reasons, not least of which is obviously the capture quality, but also the controls and the things like the whisper mode, which I'll talk about in a minute. But here you can see it on the Rode PSA One Plus. So it's mounted near me. Now I've got it facing the wrong way around so you can see the RGB light in the OC. But there is RGB both on the front and the back so you can create a sort of point of interest for your viewers. Also when you wave your hand over the top you'll mute it and that's when the RGB turns red so that you know it's muted. Now you can slightly touch it but more importantly you can just wave your hand over there which means there's no click when you press the mute button which is a real advantage and a nice part of the design. Now the Joby Wavo pod can also be taken off and attached to a boom arm. However, this was one of the complaints that I had about the microphone. Obviously, it's great to be able to put it on a boom arm, and it's very important, and it makes a big difference. In the review of this microphone, I showed the difference between having it on your desk and having it on your boom arm close to your face. It allows you to drop the gain down and just improve the quality of it, reduce the noise from the background, and also to make it sound better. And it's really important to do this. And actually the capture quality is really good and it does eliminate quite a fair bit of background noise. However, the problem that I've had, as you'll see from this footage, is although it's easy to put on the boom arm, in this boom arm design, it is not easy to then plug the cable in. Uh, this complaint may vary. You might not have this problem, but I found on the Rode PSA One Plus I had a real issue with trying to get the USB-C cable to plug in underneath. That's because the base of the microphone is essentially too narrow, and so the hole where the USB cable plugs in is very close to the adapter for connecting up the boom arm, which then makes it very problematic, which is a small annoyance of the system. It's also worth noting that there is no shock mount here as standard, and I would highly recommend purchasing one if you are buying this microphone, because one thing that I noticed is it does pick up a lot of knocks and bumps. If you accidentally bump the desk, or if you bump the boom arm, you will find that those knocks then go through into the mic and 
but it seems to pick them up quite a bit more than other USB mics I've tested and certainly more than the Rockat Torch and I'll show a little bit of this a bit later on and obviously check out the Torch review and the Joby mic review linked to in the description to see a bit more on that and hear more of what those sounds are like and to especially see what it sounds like on the desk versus the boom arm but here you can see me just struggling with plugging that in and now I'm going to show you what the microphone's like and this is the Joby Wavo pod on a boom arm so this is on a PSA one plus boom arm at the moment and I have a, a short distance from my mouth, not very far at all. Now the gain is set actually a little bit high because you can probably hear some background noise with it. So if I just drop the gain down a little bit so you can't. And that's one of the reasons why you want to get it on a boom arm like this is so that you can move it closer to your mouth if necessary. That allows you to not only sound better, because the closer you get the nicer the quality is. And you see just the capture quality is much better here. Although obviously this isn't ideal. But if you're capturing a voiceover or something like that then you probably want the gain right down and get as close as possible and you'll have a much better capture quality also unless you're streaming or something it's not really a problem although you can see that i can sit with the microphone just slightly off to the side here you could turn it ever so slightly so now that you can still see me but you also see the microphone but it's not obnoxious it's you know stands out as a nice looking microphone the capture quality is really good but what you will have noted there when i moved the mic is that it does pick up a lot of sound from the surrounding environment if i tap the boom arm by accident it picks up a lot of that you can hear that resonating through the microphone and also if you tap the mic itself the same sort of problem it picks up quite a lot of that noise the problem here is if you press the mic mute button it makes a very loud noise on it so it's not very easy to activate the mute button without making a lot of noise and i also have noted that tapping on the desk causes similar problems now i will do some typing in the background now so that you can hear that and um, mic the microphone is sitting away from the keyboard. This has a cardioid pickup pattern at the moment, so it's set to only pick up from in front. My computer's behind it, and so it shouldn't be picking up too much fan noise or too much of the keyboard noise, but I do notice that it's picking up some of it. It isn't the best at eliminating background noise, but I, this is going to depend on your environment, how much noise cancelling foam or whatever else you have in your room if you've got nice soft furnishings for example that will eliminate some of it but my recommendation with any microphone like this is to get it close to your mouth on a boom arm turn the gain right down eliminate a lot of that background noise you can obviously apply filters in obs studio or in streamlabs and also use something like nvidia's broadcast software to eliminate background noise but actually the capture quality is really good the sound is really good and you have pass-through audio as well through the mic monitoring and be able to listen to music and whatever else directly through the microphone via the 3.5mm connection on the bottom. So all in, all in all, a pretty good microphone for the money. That was the Wavo Pod, and now here's the Rockat Torch, which you can see on the desk, but I'm about to show you also mounted in a boom arm so you can hear the difference between them. And here we are with the microphone mounted on the boom arm. Now... Obviously, some of the RGB is hidden, and I'll demonstrate the other RGB, but what you can see here is that even from behind, it's possible to witness the lighting. So this level here that you can see going up the side actually adjusts depending on the gain level. So if I turn the gain up, and back down again, And I've found, I found about here is the sweet spot for me, maybe a little bit higher, that you can see that that changes. So you can actually see on the fly how much gain you've got, which is pretty nice. So it's like a percentage when obviously when it's full, it's the 100%. It's an interesting quirk of the system. One of the other things is it also changes colour. So this is green at the moment to indicate that it's in cardioid pickup pattern, which means I'm talking straight at it. And then you can get that. The mute thing... It'll demonstrate as well as so i'll just type in the background now so you can hear what that's like i've got quite a quiet keyboard it's logitech g915 tkl it's not terribly offensive i can see that the microphone's picking it up though 
one option there is to reduce the gain a little bit and then get closer to it and that's always a good way to cut down on such things to turn the gain down get a little bit closer and then carry on typing so now what I want to do is go into the polar patterns because I think that's worth discussing so this is of this standard cardioid one and all I need to do is twist a dial on the left hand side of that stand to change so I'm going to change first into whisper so this is the whisper mode and then you can basically start talking really quietly and it'll still pick up what you're saying my friend Sir Henry Deadman would hate this because he doesn't like ASMR but if you're really into this sort of thing then this might be the microphone for you because you can talk really quietly into it and it picks up a very nice quality perfect for ASMR streaming some people might really like me talking like this as well The one that I find interesting though is the stereo mode. So stereo is designed for picking up from multiple sources. So for example, if you had someone on the other side of you talking or you wanted to pick up sort of surrounding noise, generally speaking, if you're using it like I would be, you wouldn't want that stereo mode. You want it in cardio pickup patterns so you can talk to the microphone and eliminate some of the other noise around you, fan noise and things like that. So this is the better pickup pattern. However, what is interesting is that in stereo mode, when I turn it over, you'll notice a difference that it actually changes ears in terms of where it's coming from. So if I click it over now, and then I'm talking on the left hand side of it. So I'm over here talking on the left, and then I'm talking to the middle, and now I'm on the right, and then I'm back in the middle again. And then a little bit over to the left, I'm over here on the left and then I'm in the middle and then over on the right and that is quite interesting I think and a unique thing and you could use that in interesting ways I do believe so I'm actually really impressed with this microphone for a number of different reasons it's surprisingly good for the amount of money you're paying it goes good capture quality i really hate the fact that i can't hear myself talking to you i've got this headset on and i'm thinking maybe i should just take one ear off so i can actually hear myself a bit better you should generally be able to plug in a, a headset to a 3.5 mil connection on a microphone and be able to hear yourself but you just can't with this and that's seems like an oversight however you have a lot more controls and things than you would normally and so that gives you a lot of flexibility. So in case you haven't gathered already, the Rockat Torch is my favourite out of the two for a number of different reasons, not least of which is the capture quality and the flexibility of the polar patterns. It's also the best looking though. However, they are both great microphones for the money. Be sure to check out the reviews to find out more. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.